I've got this subject ready, it's published, and it is awesome. And now all I've got to do is to share it with the right people. So to do that, I'm going to click on share. And on the top, I can share this with specific people and groups. So I created this subject specifically for the customer experience group. So let's find them first here. There we go. I'm going to hit customer experience. And I can see there's three members there. Who are those three members? Well, I'll just click on that and go, oh, that's, that's who they are. Okay, great. So now I am sharing it with these people. I can choose also how they're going to experience this. So the completion column says required. That's the default. They have to complete this. I could totally turn that off. Now it's just reference, but I actually want them to complete this. So I'm going to make that required. Okay. I can also share this with individual people. So let's go back up here to the top and let's just share this with R2. Okay. Now, this is not going to be required for R2, so I'll uncheck that box. But you can see the access over here on the right-hand side says full. Well, this is because R2 has the permission level of author. So he can technically edit any subject that he's assigned to. But maybe I don't want that to happen with this subject. So I'm going to change full to just simply view. Okay. Now he can just simply view the content. He cannot edit it, and it's not required for him. Okay. Now, what about everyone else that we've not specifically shared this with? Can they find this content? Can they access it? Well, guess what? You get to decide that. So on the bottom, we have discoverability. And you'll see that the default option here is request. What that means is someone can find this content if they're searching for it, but they do have to request access, and you've got to grant them that access in order for them to view the content. Once you grant that access, it does assign them to the content, and they will take on the required option right here. Now, you've got other options in here. What's discoverable about? Well, this just simply means that if it's discoverable, anyone can find it. They can search for it, they can find it, they can access it, and when they access it, it's not assigning it to them, they're just simply viewing it as reference. The last option you have here is private, and that's really exactly what it sounds like. This just simply means, you know what, I only want the people that I've specifically shared this with, these people right up here, to be able to find and access this content. So choose whichever one makes the most sense for this specific subject. I'm going to leave it right there on request. And now I'm going to click on save. And here we go. That subject has now been shared with those people, with those groups, and they are ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Now, if you really want to master Trainial, check out Trainial University in the link below.